Does any of this sound familiar? Today is the day that you are finally heading to Walt Disney World. Even more exciting is that you are going to the Magic Kingdom. You can't wait to climb the mountains, defend the universe from the evil Emperor Zerg, and look for buried treasure with Captain Jack Sparrow. You're so excited that you can practically smell the Dole Whip. But just as you walk up to the touch points at the Magic Kingdom entrance, you realize that you forgot your magic band. You have absolutely no way to get into the park and sadness just overcomes your entire being. Your day is ruined. No, no, oh, that's just, is that, is that just me? Oh, oh. Okay. Well, if you ever find yourself in this position, I have great news for you. You don't need to head back and grab your magic band. You can just use your phone. That's the story this week. Welcome. Welcome back to the Bears Den. The introduction of Magic Mobile in the spring of 2021 was the absolute icing on the cake for me when it came to my Disney experience. Because with this new incredible tool, I never needed to worry about forgetting my Magic Band home. And let's face it, I, I forgot it a lot. So in this video, I wanna go through a few things about Magic Mobile. First, what is Magic Mobile? Second, what can you do with Magic Mobile? And third, some quick tips to help you with Magic Mobile the next time you're visiting the parks. So let's start with what is Magic Mobile. And Magic Mobile is simply the ability to utilize either your Apple or Android phone or an Apple Watch the same way that you would use a Magic Band. Disney says that Magic Mobile is a way to access the features of the Magic Band or card through your smart device, but this is only for select features. So what are those features that you can access through Magic Mobile? Now the most popular use is to access the theme parks. With your ticket added to your Apple or Google wallet through Magic Mobile on your smart device, you're able to scan into the park using your park ticket. Similar to this, you can use Magic Mobile on your device to access lightning lanes. And this makes a lot of sense because the same touch points that you use to enter the park are used to scan into any lightning lane reservations at each attraction. If you have Memory Maker and are taking advantage of PhotoPass photographers throughout the park, instead of the PhotoPass photographer tapping a band or a card to link your photos to your My Disney Experience account, you can have them scan your phone or Apple Watch to do the same. If you are staying at a Walt Disney World Resort, you can use your Magic Band or Key to the World to charge any purchases to your room so that they are then charged to your credit card that you store on file with the resort and they'll charge that at the end of your visit. If you forget your key to the world card or your magic band, you can still charge to your room through Magic Mobile on a smart device. With everything that you can use this tool for, there are a few things to remember when it comes to Magic Mobile. And we're actually gonna go back to that last feature that we can use Magic Mobile for, charging to your room. I want you to remember, you can only charge to your hotel and only charge to your hotel if you are staying at a Walt Disney World Resort. Magic Mobile does not give you access to charge to the card that you have stored in your My Disney Experience account, but only the ability to charge things to your room like you would with a Magic Band or Key to the World card. Now, speaking of your Key to the World card, if you plan to use your smart device like your phone or your Apple Watch completely in place of a Magic Band, like you don't even plan to bring a Magic Band with you to the parks, I always suggest making sure you have a card as a backup. This can be the key to the world that you get when you check into your hotel reservation, or it can be the card that you'll get at the ticket windows. Now this is really helpful in case your phone dies or just isn't working, having the card as a backup to keep you moving throughout the day will come in handy. And my next tip is actually focused on keeping you moving when you're using Magic Mobile and stopping you from getting hung up at the touch points. And that is 
don't use Magic Mobile with multiple guests that you manage. You see, you do have the option to set up Magic Mobile for multiple guests that you manage so that you can scan one device for everyone entering the park or using lightning lanes. This is a bad idea. You have to walk up to the touch point, scan for one person, tap your finger, and then when the touch point goes green, instead of going through, you then have to swipe through your phone to find the next person's ticket and do all of the same for everybody that you're traveling with. It becomes way too much and honestly defeats the purpose of Magic Mobile, which is to be more efficient and save you some time. So if you are traveling with multiple people that you manage in My Disney Experience, skip using Magic Mobile. Use it for yourself, let everyone else use a Magic Band or a card. But if everyone in your party really wants to use Magic Mobile because they don't want to use a card or a Magic Band, then all you need to do is make sure that each person is set up with their own individual My Disney Experience account that is linked to an individual email rather than being managed by a single person in the group. Now, if everyone does have their own My Disney Experience account, you'll also want to make sure that you're connected as family and friends in My Disney Experience so that you can plan together. And I can walk you through how to do that in the video that's on the screen right now. And remember, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow.